Hey, what's up guys? Vibe Yellow Fin Kayak Unboxing. Let's go. Um, purpose of the video, I'm calling it an unboxing and not a review because it's my first kayak and I don't have anything to compare it to and I haven't gotten it on the water yet. So I just wanna go over what the kayak comes with and how it arrives in case you were wondering. And um, so yeah, I ordered the Vibe Yellow Fin 100. It's a 10 foot kayak. I believe it's 54 pounds, maybe 60 plus or minus a couple pounds with the accessories and chair and stuff. Has a weight capacity of 375 pounds, which was one of the big uh, pros for me because I'm, I'm a heavier guy at around 250 pounds. So I wanted something stable, but also still short. I wasn't interested in a 12 foot for my first kayak. Um, 375 pounds. Weight capacity, around 60 pounds, total weight, 10 feet, uh, does not come with a paddle. I got it for $6.99, new, through Vibe. It was about $80 for shipping in the lower 48. Came in about four days after I ordered it, which was super nice. And uh, pro tip that I did not cash in on, um, if you add it to your cart, on their website and leave it there for a few days, they will send you a 10% off code to help you seal the deal. I didn't see that code when I purchased it, but I definitely pretty much could have got my shipping for free. Oh, shipping was $80. Not sure if I said that, which was about half the price of Dick's, which was the place that carried it here where I live. So that's why I got it straight from them. Excellent customer service. Uh, again, arrived super fast and I'm extremely happy with it. So what do you get if you just order the kayak by itself and nothing else? Well, you get the kayak, Yellowfin 100, has two dry storage containers. Each container uh, comes with the dry bag. So when you check out, they'll be like, oh, here's some things you might want. And, and I saw dry bags on there and I thought, oh, I hope they're included. They are. The kayak itself has adjustable foot pedals, not pedals, because you're not pedaling, but uh, the two rails on each side for accessories, the pre-drilled accessory mount here in the middle. They have this labeled as a cup holder and like a kind of terminal tackle storage. Two rod holders in the front, two rod holders in the back. This kind of six point, bungee cord harness in the cargo area, pre-installed. Everything was pre-installed except for these two side handles, which were in the dry container. So if you're thinking about ordering one, when it arrives, they tell you to inspect it before you sign for it. You know, make sure there's no scratches or, you know, anything that might've been damaged during manufacturing or shipping. Once you sign for it, you're kind of saying that it didn't arrive with those things. Uh, but if you're wondering where your side handles are, check your dry storage. That's where all the information and stickers and uh, repair plastic was. Other than, other than the handles, everything was already installed. This is how it arrived. Uh, the only thing else I had to do was just put the straps on for the seat and actually Screw the, screw the chair in, but the hardware was already in there and ready to go. So a couple bolts and bam, that's where you're at. But yeah, so you got four, four handles total. The two on the side, one in the front and back. The two dry storage containers with the dry bags, seats included, already installed. It's held in by three bungee cords. They're just, they're attached on one side and then you clip them in on the other. So easy to get out. Here's the back one. And technically these are designated for tackle storage. So what that's labeled as. So you could fit one tackle box, put your bungee over it. One on each side. You have your paddle holder cords. So you could do it on either side. Six cupper holes with the plugs included. One, two, 
three and four were under the seat, five and six. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the kayak itself does not come with a paddle for this one. I know some of the big box stores, I don't know if they'll include a deal. Some kayaks do come with a paddle. This one does not, it did not through Dick's. Um, I think it was 650 at Dick's. I'm not, don't remember at this point, but shipping was like 140. So it basically came out to the same price. But yeah, there's the kayak, super excited. Um, next steps for me is a paddle, life vest, maybe some like dry bags. These are, these are like resistant, you know, but they're not, if you get water in there. <laughs> some dry bags for my essential gear, some possible clip on leashes, maybe like one for my paddle and one for the rod. Anything that people, if you guys already have a kayak or are more experienced with kayaking, you know, if you could drop a comment on some things that you wish you had or would have got or would have got differently the first time around, let me know. I'd love to talk about it and learn more. And, you know, I want to I try to get the right stuff first. You know, let's say a uh, $150 paddle is uh, 200 bucks if you bought a $50 paddle first. So I know that paddles can be expensive. Brands, styles, lengths. I know nothing about it yet. So any tips would be greatly appreciated. Um, what else was I gonna say about it? I am gonna do a full review when I get it out on the water and I will bring the GoPro and try to capture that experience so you guys can see. That's when I will officially do a review on the Elephant 100. As far as what I've looked up so far, with the weight capacity, it's a stable boat. That was the biggest pro for me. I'm new to watercraft. I wanted stability. I've heard some people say it's a little bit slower, but I chose stability over speed in this case. I'm super excited to get in the water and uh, give you guys some more details on it as far as the actual on water experience goes. But for now, here's the unboxing. Here's how it arrived. Love the color. It was the only color left. Luckily for me, I was the first color that I gravitated towards. Any questions? Drop a comment. Hit me up. Let me know. I'd be happy to talk with y'all.